Hey, hey pre-med pre star. star. I'm Justin. I'm Nick. And today we're going to be giving you a tour of the University of Colorado School of Medicine at the Anschutz Medical Campus. Yeah, so we're on top of one of our education buildings here. Uh, down there is a quad where students like to hang out. Uh, we have a very interprofessional environment with all of the health professions represented. So here we have Fulgenity Pavilion which is where most of you will have your interview. This is also uh, the Center for Bioethics and Humanities. We have an awesome uh, program here that emphasizes humanism in medicine. So this is one of my favorite places on campus. So they just wrapped up a, an exhibit about Impressionist artwork. We had Renoir, paintings by Monet here, um, all donated by a very awesome community member that let us display their artwork for a couple months here in this gallery. We also have The Human Touch, our Journal of Medical Humanities, Health Humanities. Um, so there are a lot of poems if you guys get a chance to come to campus definitely grab a copy and check it out. So now we're inside the Center for Bioethics and Humanities and right now we have an exhibit uh, titled What Worries You Most? And this was put together by fourth year medical students who are members of the Arnold P. Gold Foundation Honor Society, which focuses on humanism in medicine. So we got permission to come in and take a look. This uh, gallery space hosts various art shows throughout the school year. We just wrapped up one on Impressionist artwork. Where we displayed some awesome pieces, uh, including uh, Monet and Renoir. And before that, we had more of a modern art as well. So if you do have a chance to come by our campus and um, you're here during business hours, definitely come and take a look. So we just left Fulgenity Pavilion and here is another view of our beautiful courtyard. And in the distance you can see a Children's Hospital. Yeah, shout out to Children's, one of the most awesome pediatric facilities in the country. We are going to head into Education 1 which is where you will be spending most of your time. Um, it's where we have our lectures, it's where we have our anatomy lab up on the fifth floor. And so this is Education One. Yeah, and during the school year there are a lot of people walking around, <laughs> uh, students everywhere. And we have study rooms, we have like common areas for people to hang out, eat, make coffee. Um, these are some of the study rooms that we use to study. It's also where we have um, our small groups. This is Education 1300. It's a 200 seat lecture hall and it is where the first year students are taught. Um, so lectures are usually four hours in the morning, eight to 12. So here is a calendar, a lovely calendar that some students in our class need. Now if we go inside the lecture hall, where we will see our lecturer, Nicholas Arliss, preparing to teach this full audience, as you can see. Just kidding, but this is the lecture hall. Um, the seats are actually very comfortable, which is important to consider when you're choosing medical schools. Definitely. There is a smart board that um, uses like a smart pen and um, is great for drawings that will project on our main screens. Um, we also have two whiteboards and most of the lectures will take advantage of all of these different forms of media to provide us with the best learning experience. Yeah, and believe it or not, your entire class of 184 fits in this lecture hall. And since attendance isn't required, we also record all of the lectures so you can watch them on your own time um, and just take a look at the video recordings and go at your own pace. We also do uh, hygiene kits so people can take these to um, folks that uh, need it, um, whether they're struggling with housing or, or could use some benefit for that. So that's part of our commitment to the local community and service. So.
So here we are, we're up on the fifth floor of Ed 1, and this is where we have our anatomy lab. Uh, we actually just got permission to come check out the lab. There aren't any cadavers in there currently, but they've prepared it for the summer session, which will be with PT and PA students jointly. So let's go take a look. Ah, this brings back memories. <laughs> so this is where I spent a large portion of my fall semester attempting to learn the ins and outs of uh, human anatomy. I think you'll find that it's really tough to get a, a very strong understanding uh, in the short amount of time that you'll study anatomy. So depending on where you go to school, look for what their anatomy curriculum is like. Is it integrated and all year? Is it like here at CU where it's condensed into 10 weeks? And it's really uh, kind of a testament to your commitment to lifelong learning because you're gonna have to continually learn anatomy and review um, the relevant pathophysiology that corresponds with that anatomy as you go through your training. So uh, this was actually where my team worked. We have great natural light on a clear day. You can see the mountains, you can see um, University Hospital, you can see our Native American Health Building, you can see Building 500 where all the academic offices are. So it's kind of nice, not like a a dreary, dungeony type feel when you're in here. And um, if you come to school here, you'll spend a lot of time here your first semester. So, yeah. So this is the bone room. It's where you may spend a great amount of time during your first semester in anatomy. We are fortunate to have this room that's specifically for learning the important features, anatomical features of the bones, the human skeleton. And we also have these larger models for um, studying and kind of getting a feel, so to speak, yeah. of the bones. Welcome to the CAPE, which is the Center for Advancing Professional Excellence. It is where uh, medical students, nursing students uh, come to practice and learn physical exams. So we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. Go see our first patient. Come in. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, why don't you tell us about the exam room? Yeah, so this is modeled after uh, your normal exam room in an outpatient setting. And in here we learn from our speedas, all the physical exam maneuvers. There are actually community members who have been trained to simulate an actual patient encounter. We'll also work with faculty too and um, the curriculum emphasizes communication skills, so we'll learn um, not only how to take a history and do a physical exam, but we'll also learn communication techniques that um, really help you build a relationship with your patients. But yeah, this is another way that we integrate clinical education with the first couple years of your basic sciences and stuff like that. Yeah, we've got real tools, real blood pressure cuffs, so that you can practice and become comfortable with doing physical exam skills. And also, a, a nice feature we have is that all of the um, sessions are recorded and um, both audio and video so that you can review your performance during these assessments and during your practice sessions. Which does add its own level of stress to it, right? Because <laughs> someone's watching you and you're like, oh, did I just mess up? But in the end, it's, it's just good feedback, so. So this is our donor memorial amphitheater. It's something that we do to commemorate and honor the generous donations of everyone who donated to our anatomy program. And we also have this amazing ceremony at the end of the year, which just happened last month. And uh, we were really honored to have a lot of family members come and talk about their loved ones who donated their bodies to science. Um, that is something that, regardless of where you go to medical school, you should ask about on the interview trail because I think it really kind of helps uh, exemplify the school's philosophy on um, on the donor process and, and really respecting um, the human side of donating your body to science. So we're here at another part of the campus. Um, we're surrounded by Building 500, also the Barber Davis Center where they do some great diabetes research. And on Wednesdays we have food trucks over there. 
Building 500 and this whole area used to be part of an army base uh, before it was uh, remodeled into the Anschutz Medical Campus. And a lot of our classmates, um, we have a fair number of people who are doing um, military scholarships, whether it's Air Force or Army. Um, so that, that's something that if you're interested in, in um, military service, you know, you can integrate that in. So if you do come here, definitely come by and say hello. A lot of very important people, VIPs, who work in this office um, and are here to support the students as well as the faculty in the School of Medicine. And we have Ingrid and Haley, who you might be fortunate enough to meet on the interview trail. They are part of our awesome student life team and uh, as students we really appreciate having this resource and being able to come here, get support, get help and um, generally ask questions. It, it's uh, a big help for us. So, you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So are you. Wow, you're really good at the piano. I did not know that. Why, thank you. <laughs> so welcome to the student lounge where there are not one, not two, but actually three pianos. Um, this lounge is available for med students, um, nursing students, PE students, I think pretty much all of the students here at Anschutz Medical Campus. Um, did we mention that there's a small workout facility huh. that um, you have with badge access? And so this entire building is completely bad access so right. this is a nice facility if you know you don't feel like going all the way over to the wellness center you can come work out get healthy get fit so this is the research commons So for some of you MD, PhD hopefuls, this is where uh, our colleagues doing research spend a lot of their time. So it, it's really nice to have everything in all in one place. Hi Pre-Med Star, good luck with your application season. I'm Shanta Zimmer, I'm an infectious disease doc and I'm the Associate Dean of Diversity and Inclusion here at the University of Colorado School of Medicine where it is always beautiful. Uh, keep us in mind as you're putting your applications in. So, thank you for joining us on our virtual tour today. Yeah, we had a lot of fun showing you around and we hope you did as well. You could comment below of what you thought or any suggestions that you have. Good luck to you in your application journey and your pre-med journey and we are so glad to have you pre-med star. Yeah, thanks. And be sure to let us know if you have specific questions about CU or the med school process in general. See ya. Bye.